must have been almost three years ago now that really a strong wind set down right here at the cabin site and blew over a lot of big aspen and we've been cutting them up ever since and that's what I was splitting the other day it was this big tree it must have been a two-parter we got the one half pretty well taken care of but now I'm gonna take the saw and whack up the next piece and try to get it all split up so when cabin partner Jim gets here he can haul it with the wheelbarrow and get it over into the woodshed and get her dried down. The ones up in the air like this, I know they're, even though it's been three years, I know they're, they've been aging okay and they won't be rotten at all, so time to get to it. Apologies to all you chainsawers out there. I'll give up here in a little bit and go get that chain sharpened up properly. Painful, isn't it? Have I miscounted yet? You want to do the same number of strokes in each one, but I'm doing like five strokes, and sometimes it's, you get that high of strokes and you forget where you are. That's when you're talking. Okay, we'll try this again. Those angles were so far off on that, on that chain, I wanted, I wanted to cr cut crooked. I must have. I must have sharpened it up out in the woods without wearing my glasses. It was pretty bad. You see me setting the chainsaw, 
like that, right against the log. I've got marked on the bar, and I know how long to cut the next piece of wood so that it fits perfectly in the wood stove when we're all done. Hate to have a piece that's an inch too long. Well, there's a, at least two or three short workouts of splitting wood there. I don't get too carried away. I don't want to end up real stiff and sore at night. Take a few ibuprofen before I get started and kind of stave off the soreness for the next task. You can see the tree was hung up, up in there. Might try to give a yank on it and see if I can get it pivoted down some, but otherwise it can just rot away right up there. There's a reason they call such things widow makers. Can't give up that easy. I looked at it, and I think if I pull it back there toward the woodshed, it might pull it around, it might break off a few small branches and come sliding right down the ground. Won't know if I don't try, but believe me, it's safe. I'll be back out of the way. I think with this much wet snow coming down, I canceled that trip out to Hawks Pond to enjoy a piece of pie out in the wind and the snow. Well, split a little more wood, and I got I got some of my hardware sitting out in different places. I may go out and start up the big mower and bring it back in, get under the shed, got a little, little task done as I wrap things up around here. I think I'll go out, like I say, I'm, I think I'll go out and do another little session of splitting. Since I'm not going to Hawk's Pond for that tea and pile. After I finish this, I'll come in and have my apple pie by the fireside. Makes a lot more sense than a day like this. I should mention that this is October 13th, 2022, so being October 13th is not too soon. It's not, you got to expect a little snow in northern Minnesota. It's not going to stick or accumulate to anything. It's just a bit of a misty rain. It's a light snowfall. Try to, I'll try to work on these big brutes down here. It to me like there's, a, there's enough defects in here that it should pop apart. Maybe. Yeah, that's more like it. It is down near the butt, so it's pretty tough.
this is what the day's been like. About the strongest sun that I've seen the whole time, but a little precipitation coming down. Got a little warmer here. It's like it's almost just rain and not snow. But over here to do some of my little last minute chores, putting some things away, hauling other things back to the back to the cabin. Got a lawnmower I'll I'll stash right here, but I've got a string trimmer that I want to use to clean up a few of my game camera sites. I'm gonna leave a few cameras here when I leave and I want to get the grass trimmed around them so that the waving grass in the wind isn't triggering pictures. So trimmer I'll take with me. A lot more I'll cover up and put in the back side of the bench. And we had this out when the whole group was here the other day. We had a, a brat roast over here. So I'll get it put back into wintertime storage and besides that the bears just seem to love dragging it out anyway and tipping it over. Last fall I left one of my trail cams right there and I got some excellent footage of the wolves coming around the corner and the fisher came around. Yeah, I got a pine squirrel running around over here. But I'm not worried about him, but dam's here to the left with the, with the water. So until it freezes up, all the wildlife comes around now, I'll be walking in here. But I want to trim all this high grass down so it doesn't wave and trigger my camera. So one more little bit of cleanup. Grass is really wet and tough, so it's not working too well, but we'll get it done. Two days ago, Walleye Don brought out, uh, not Walleye, but he brought out, he said the, the sauger were running in the river. Well, if you know, saugers a just like a little bit smaller and actually more tender version of the walleye. Same family, I guess. Anyway, look, you can see the blades are smaller. It's just really a, give me a nice tender treat. I'm going to try and do them up right. Package of rich crackers here, a pulverized part of it down. That'll be the breading.
already got some fried potatoes cooking up. about that much grapeseed oil in here Got an egg we'll whip that up not sure how much I'm gonna need here we'll need two eggs or not but we'll start with one Double dip them in the egg. Back in the crackers. Pulverize those this down a little more. Minor interruption. Ran out of propane. I knew they're getting pretty low. Tanks usually run three weeks to a month. This is the old time direct fitting, so that got left hand threads on this, so got to remember that all the time. again. Put a little soapy water in the connection to make sure we're okay. Light things up again. Okay, we're ready. Got a whole bowl of sauger fillets in there. it out there. We 
ready to move to a more comfortable eating place.